Hi, P. Bruins, and we're going to talk about transcription and translation and just have this basic overview of the whole process. And we'll concentrate on the differences between prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Okay. Now, the flow of information from gene to protein, again, is based on a triplet code. So a code is made up of three uh, nucleotides. So here's your DNA template. Now it's double-stranded. So which strand uh, do we use to make mRNA? And that is the three prime to five prime. And that's our template strand. The other strand is what's called a non-template, and we're not going to use that. So for transcription, we're using the three to five prime. And if you notice, wherever there's an A, there's going to be a U because there's no thymine in mRNA. And wherever there's a C, there'll be a G. And wherever there's a T, there'll be an A. So each codon is made up of three nucleotides. So there's possible of 64 codons, a combination. So, and there's 20 amino acids. So, so from mRNA, we get protein, and there are possibly uh, 20 amino acids, 20 different uh, combinations to get that protein. Now, if you look at prokaryotes versus eukaryotes, you see a major difference is that prokaryotes is not separated by nucleus and where eukaryotes are. <coughs> Let's talk about transcription first. Uh, the key thing in transcription, the major player is RNA polymerase, which is, transcribes the gene and creating a RNA transcript, which is complementary to the DNA strand, the three to five prime DNA strand. And again, there are basic three steps, initiation, elongation, and termination. Uh, our first step initiation is where our RNA polymerase will bind to an area called a promoter. And that's where an RNA no, uh, RNA polymerase uh, will bind there and then start transcribing. And the RNA polymerase also unwinds, and it will start adding RNA nucleotides in the 5 to 3 prime direction. Uh, and then the next step is elongating. And again, remember, it's using this strand as a template. And then when it when it uh, reaches a sequence uh, uh, that's called a terminator, the RNA polymerase is released, and then you have a complete RNA transcript. Now, a big difference in um, in eukaryotes is that you have something called. Uh, a tata box in the promoter area. So you have a tata box and then you have the starting point. Now, important thing to also remember um, in eukaryotes, you have a promoter for each gene, where in, you, in uh, prokaryotes, uh, a promoter is, can be shared by several genes. Also, you have something called transcription factors, uh, they help to put uh, RNA polymerase behind to the promoter. And this is something you don't see in you in prokaryotes. So this is in eukaryotes. <coughs> now elongation again involves the three to five prime in eukaryotes, and the RNA is adding nucleotides in the five to three prime direction. And when it reaches a terminator sequence, the RNA transcript is made, uh, the RNA polymerase will be released, and then you have your RNA transcript. Now in eukaryotes, there's extra RNA processing, and I'll discuss that in another screencast. Now, let's talk about translation. Now, once you have your mRNA, the mRNA will leave the nucleus, goes to the ribosome uh, to make a protein. So in translation, you have several players involved. You've got your ribosome, right here. And you've got tRNA, which has a complementary amino acid, and an anticodon, which is complementary to the triplet codon on the mRNA. And as you can see, the mRNA is read 5 to 3 prime direction. 
here's other views of the ribosome and the ribosome is also ca called a ribozyme because it has catalytic action and if you look at the ribosome it's got two parts it's a large part and a small subunit <coughs> and it's got three sites where the tRNA uh, 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 comes in it's, you have the E site just exit site that's where the tRNA will exit the P site you could think of it that's where the peptide elongates and then you have the A side think of it as the arriving site okay and then here you can see how the, a, the tRNA comes in at the A site and then it will shift to the P site and that was, as it's shifting here's the growing polypeptide the bond is broken and then a, poly, a peptide bond is formed between uh, the new uh, amino acid that's being added on and then the then the next tRNA will exit from the E site, and then the uh, tRNAs will follow along in a row. Then the first step in translation is initiation, where you have a small subunit of the ribosome binds to your mRNA, and your tRNA with your amino acid, uh, the starter amino acid met, binds to the mRNA. And once that binds, you add energy, uh, GTP in this case, and you add the large ribosomal subunit, and now you have a translation initiation complex. Now the elongation involves the reading of the codons and catalyzing that peptide bond uh, between the amino acid and the new tRNA that arrives. So here in the first step, you have the tRNA being recognized by the mRNA codon. So the codon is complementary to the anticodon which is on the tRNA and then here the growing polypeptide this bond is broken and the new peptide bond is formed with the new arrival of the new amino acid and once that peptide bond is formed um, um, then the, net, the old tRNA will go to the E site that leaves and then the tRNA that was at the A site moves to the P site and then it continues now this will continue until it reaches a stop codon and you have several stop codons here as you can see and this is where a releasing factor will bind to it and once a releasing factor binds to it uh, this is where the ribosomal subunits will be all released and disassembled and then you have your free polypeptide your mRNA and your ribosomal RNA is now disassembled now the codon chart here, as you can see, there's 64 codons, and some of these amino acids have redundant amino uh, acid, co uh, the mRNA codons here. So for example, Lu here, leucine has CUU, CUC, CUA, CUG. Now the way you read this um, mRNA codon chart is here you have your first base, second base, and third base. So for example, AUG, find A, then U, and then G. So AUG is met and uh, the codons are based on the mRNA so here's the whole picture of translation so you started here with DNA from DNA that information is transcribed into form of mRNA and the mRNA is further processed in a eukaryote which, which is called RNA processing and once that process you add the poly A uh, N and the the five prime uh, guanine cap and then your introns are cut out, spliced and once you've got your final tr RNA transcript it leaves the nucleus to the ribosome and that's where translation occurs and you get your polypeptide. Now watch these animations, um, they'll really help you uh, picture the whole process.